Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a wiffle ball watercolor scrunch. So I'm using five wiffle balls and my over the sink strainer and a Gildan 2XL v-neck t-shirt, and it's a ladies cut. And I love these shirts, you guys. Um, I'm not a big fan of Gildan shirts, you guys know that, but I'm having a hard time finding the Port & Company v-necks on jiffyshirts.com. So this is like the next best thing. So you just wanna do tall, deep scrunches around your wiffle balls. And then at the very top of each wiffle ball, I like to just give it a little twist. It reminds me of lemon meringue or cupcake frosting, something like that. If you don't have wiffle balls, just try to do tall, deep scrunches. And I do have links down below in the description box for the wiffle balls and the over the sink strainers and everything else that I use for tie dye. So make sure that you check that out. And don't forget, now through October 31st of 2022, if you go to www.boredomwithgen.com and type in Belladonna as the coupon code, you will receive 10% off your order. So if you don't have your Sydney Polar and Matching Caddy set yet, I highly recommend that you take advantage of the discount. Head on over there and get yourself one before the sale ends. So I added a little bit of dye under ice on top of the wiffle balls just to see if I can get some good color flows. You know, let's see what the color can do. And now I'm adding my Pribcho ice, which is my large ice machine ice. And I'll tell you guys, it is so handy to have an ice machine right here instead of running to the convenience store constantly. The machine has definitely paid for itself. And with Christmas coming up, you guys should ask your partners for ice machines for Christmas. Now I'm adding a little bit of dye over the ice just to also pack in some color and see some color flows. And I'm finding that less is more, you know, I think I've been too heavy handed lately. And I'm using my spoons from Boredom with Jen. So while you're over there checking out the sinew polars, check out the spoons too. Now I give it a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. And it's recommended that you let the project batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours after the ice melts. I tried really hard to only batch this for 24 hours because I know most of you don't like to batch for the full 48 hours. This one batched almost for the full 48 hours. I just don't have the time to tie dye and do washouts as like I would like to. So I tried to do what you guys would do. So this was, yeah, 48 hours. So now it's time for the rinse out and you wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon. Kirilon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. And yes, the links are down below in the description box. And then I'll put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our vintage red wiffle ball watercolor scrunch after it's been washed and dried. And I think it turned out beautiful. I really do love these watercolor scrunches. They're just so pretty. So right off the bat, it reminds me of Oxblood Red. So if you don't have Vintage Red and you do have Oxblood, I think you're gonna be all right. Now, never fear, you can always get these colors. They are available on Dharma's website in the special order dyes section. But you have to buy five pounds, which that's just way too much dye, no way. So don't forget, if you missed out on buying the zombie colors, you can still get these. Go over into Facebook, Tie-Dye Supplies Marketplace, follow their page. There are a lot of wonderful people over there that are still selling these dyes in smaller quantities. So just look at those flows and the splits, beautiful. So you get the nice burgundy color and then it breaks down into like a nice taupe color. I see some yellows and some blues. But for those of you that watch my single color ice dye tutorials, if you go and look at the Oxblood Red, it's very similar. So overall, I'm very pleased with the way the shirt turned out. What do you guys think? 
please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!